All right, guys, just doing a little video here. I had to bring my friend down here to Big Lake to his girlfriend's. They live out in the country in a farm, and uh, the car got filthy. It was all this stuff in mud. And uh, there's one issue I want to show you guys. Can you hear that? Yeah. Um, so I guess my friend, when he, because he borrowed my car to go to uh, work at his at Subaru, and. Um, he was staying at my house for a couple days, so that's why I brought him back down here. And uh, the guy, there's a guy with a really badass GTO who works there. He has the one that I tell you guys about, a black one in town. That's like stupid nice and stupid fast. He said it's my, he said it's the bottom pulley on there. That bottom one's shaking a lot. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, he said it's that. I think that's my harmonic balancer. Is that what that was called? And it's making like this, like, ticking noise. Uh, regardless, that's what he said it was, but this car, um, in two days on Monday, is going to get the new transmission lines at my, uh, at my sister's house again, so I'll definitely show you guys and take a video of that too. Um, it's gonna get the new transmission lines. I'll be able to keep a full, full tranny fluid from now on. So it should shift great, and uh, he said he'll figure out what that is. So regardless, I was just seeing what your guys' opinion was, but it'll be fixed in a couple days. But And uh, he's also putting my lowering springs on too, so I'm really excited about that. They're the Canuck Motorsports 1.5 inch or 1.7 lowering springs, I forgot. Yeah. I'm going to go wash this thing. I'm going to head home, about a half hour drive. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that sounds bad, but it's really not that bad. It's just an annoying noise, but it is getting fixed. And uh, look at that front end. Oh God, I love this car. Every day I love this car. I cannot wait for it to be lowered. Like, literally, like it's gonna cut this gap like in half. And I shouldn't have an issue rubbing because these springs were on someone else's GXP um, that had a little bit wider wheels than mine, I think. Absolutely obsessed with Duramaxes lately, like LBZs and LLYs. My friend has an LLY. Has like the biggest like like biggest turbo out of them out of the duramaxes or out of the diesel trucks so yeah i mean definitely a truck is definitely coming in my near future for sure i'm working really hard right now to get a good down payment so i can get approved for a decent rate and you bet your ass i'll have a badass duramax on this channel to pull this thing to and from uh like the shop and stuff and so i don't always have to drive and put miles on it because they're raking up really quick <laughs> Would you guys pay $27.50 for this beat up V6 Mustang that's an automatic? It has 76,000 original miles, but it's absolutely beat up. But we're going to head home. We're, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I detail this on my GoPro. Uh, my phone's about to die. All right, guys, I was wrong. No GoPro uh, footage for this video, but we're just going to use the phone here. Um, out here, you know, got my stuff. I'm going to be using this uh, spray wax here in just a little bit. But first off, you take one, uh, this, uh, this is the same thing for when you're doing like a quick detailer, uh, wax, put it on with one, take it off with another one. Uh, simple. So what I'm doing, I'm just changing rags now because I just did the front, the front fascia, the hood. And so pretty much from that line up, as you can see how shiny that thing looks. And I uh, haven't done the wheels or anything, I do those last. Um, but this is what I use, chemical guys. Uh, synthetic quick detailer smells amazing like smells really good your car will smell great like look at that shine oh my god i can't wait for summer guys this car is going to be one of the baddest gxps in at least in minnesota but you can see like i just washed it but like it's still there's still some dirt and stuff from driving so that's what this does and look at that front end oh that looks good this did uh scrape but this lip has been amazing so i'm not i'm not upset and uh, that sucks, but you know what? I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it looks good. Right, I'm going to continue on with the rest of the car, just, you know, on with one microfiber and off with the other one. I guess you rub it in with one. You spray it pretty good on wherever you want, you know, spray a decent amount onto it. Don't be afraid to get it wet. You rub it in with one and then, you know, dry it with the other. So and then after I do that, I'm going to repeat it with the speed wax. Same process. And uh, that's all I need to do because I washed it and then I'm going to go to the wheels and then probably do a little bit of interior while it's still sunny out. 
but look at that thing. Oh, I cannot wait. My lowering springs are sitting inside. Those are getting put on Monday. It's going to look so good. going to conclude right here. I got it all waxed up. See how shiny it is. Did a little bit of paint touch up because uh, I found a couple small spots that are starting to rust and it really takes me off. So I'm going to have to, they're just like, they're like, like that big. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, uh, besides like the classic spots right there on both sides. Um, so this summer I definitely plan on getting that professionally like cut and then a new part welded in or whatever um, Just right there same with the other side and then The bottom of this door is good besides some rock chips And uh, I still have to do the windows. I'm gonna pull it in actually I'll probably do the windows out here um, But my windows are already pretty clean. So I'm probably just gonna quickly wipe them off as you can see they're pretty pretty clean but the spot that worries me is this spot look at all these rock chips those are all rock chips um, and like there's clear coat peeling on the bottom of this door you have to get really close to see this and like right here the clear coat starting to peel and right here it peeled and I had to touch it up with some paint that was pretty close to it this one wasn't me who did that I did uh, you can see right here this touch up paints pretty close so that spot worries me because it's bare metal it's not that's not rust yet it's just bare metal um, but this one Right at this corner, I touched up, you can't really see it anymore, but it was rust. And the same with uh, this spot right there. So I'm gonna have to get those spots like kind of maybe cut out or just sanded down and repainted. Um, I'll definitely bring it to a professional body shop to do that so it looks good. I'm gonna see what we can do about repainting the doors maybe, or maybe I'll just wrap the car. I'll just get the couple of like small little spots fixed and then I can wrap the car. Um, Cause I do want to wrap it. I want my own color. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, this GXP is going to look awesome by the end of the summer, and it's going to perform awesome. And uh, you can see why I need to get it fixed Monday, which um, the parts already came in. They came in yesterday, so I just have to drive down there Monday, get the lowering springs put on, the transmission fixed, the leaking part, because that's the only thing wrong with my transmission, I guess, right now, um, which is good. I mean, I, I sound upset, but I'm not. And that, I hate that panel gap, the gap. It's too big. <laughs> but, yeah, I just got home, and it all leaked out. So, other than that, car's doing good. I'm gonna pull her in the garage here uh, with the heater on so it can stay warm for a little bit. And uh, I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video. 